guys, welcome back. So today's video, I really wanna share with you one of my top tips to helping people progress into learning some of the beginners calisthenics and body weight training. Uh, I learned the hard way. I saw all this crazy stuff on YouTube like muscle ups, push up variations, planches, and I was like, right, got excited, forced it without the proper training or the proper knowledge, and guess what? My form was terrible. I got a few injuries, pulled a few muscles, which set me back weeks on my training. So today's video, I wanna just talk to you about the stuff that I learned and try and help you get to where you wanna get in a much quicker, safer method. Okay, so let's start off. What is everyone's biggest weakness? And for me, this was definitely the case, it was my pulling, my pulling strength. I've always been able to do push-ups, always been able to do sit-ups, certain core exercises, but when it came to pull-ups, I felt really, really weak and I just didn't have the strength. So today's video, I'm really gonna show you how important a resistance band can be for beginners that are trying to reduce their body weight, but also at the end of the video, for some more experienced, intermediate, advanced people, I'll show you how you can also use these to add weight for really progressing. So let's start off with the pull-up. So these bands are great. You throw them over the bar this way, this way, really doesn't matter. Loop it through on itself, try and go central. And there you have it, this is how we start. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one of our feet inside and as you see, it's gonna reduce the weight of your body to make it a much easier on your arms, your shoulders, your back when you try and do the pull up. Now a lot of people when they start, the biggest thing that gets in the way is their ego. And I fell for this, I saw my friends doing certain pull ups, certain exercises, and I was like, I wanna do that and I'll do it as fast as possible. And people really, really, really wanna do as many reps as possible regardless of the form. So you'll see a lot of people doing pull ups just from here, one, two, three. And realistically here, the only person that you're cheating is yourself. They're not real reps, they're not full range of motion. And what happens is, for people that do this, you'll see they're very strong in this phase of the pull up, but when they come down to the bottom, they don't have any strength built up to really push themselves up to the bar. So that's why it's really important to get rid of your ego, don't worry about how many repetitions you do, and really just focus on full range of movement, good quality form, and you'll progress at a much more sustainable rate, reduce the risk of injuries, and so on. So anyway, let's get back to the resistance band. We're gonna place one foot inside. Now don't place two, because it's very easy to jump out when you need to. And like me, I've made myself feel like a fool sometimes where I actually get stuck. So we start with one and the other leg's just gonna come by the side. Now you'll see, when we're here, you can really use the resistance band to start with the full range of motion and to pull yourself all the way up to the bar and lower yourself down as well. Now a common mistake with people using the resistance bands is to really use the momentum and when you come down to let it spring you back up and go up, like this. But this again, you're just cheating yourself. Always do maybe a half second pause at the top of your rep and a half second pause at the bottom of your rep. Like so. Okay, so this is a great way of using the resistance band to really improve your pulling strength and really get the most out of your pull-ups. So that's for the pull-ups. Now, another very popular exercise, which is if you really wanna fill out your arms, grow your triceps, bigger shoulders, a nice chisel chest, what you need to do is dips. So with dips, we're gonna take these bars and how can we use resistance bands to improve our dips as a beginner? So first of all, you can place them over like this and just use your hands to hold them down. 
or you can do it properly and use the band, lock it on one side and hold the other side like so. We're gonna add our weight and then we're gonna slowly come down and use the band to really help you get used to the full range of motion like so. So that's how we use the band to really improve our dip strength and get our body used to the full range of motion like this. Okay, now what else? Another famous move for beginners who want to start calisthenics is the planche. You've probably seen tons of videos on YouTube with it. And the planche is no exception. This resistance band is a great tool to help you with your planche. So like I said with the pull-up bar before, we're gonna throw it in. Be careful while you're doing this because the bands do have a lot of give. And we're gonna bring the bands down, place it over your knees like so, onto your feet, and then we're gonna walk forward with our hands, get them into the position, and you'll see it's a great way of getting your body used to this planche position, taking the majority of weight and getting your body used to being here like that. Okay, so like I said, be careful when you remove the band, as you don't want to end up tangled up. So for the planche, it's great. For pull-ups, it's great. For your dips, it's great. And now, what I want to show you is another famous move in the calisthenics world, is the front lever. So you've probably seen a lot of people keeping a perfectly straight line with the front lever. And with the resistance band, it's another great tool that you can really use to help practice these positions. So with this, you wanna make sure you have a very short amount of the loop. Like so, so it's very short like this. Okay. And we're gonna practice just getting into the front lever position. It's a very strange feeling at first, but the resistance band makes this much easier. So like we do with the pull-ups, we can start with one foot like this, and the other foot just sits inside. And we're gonna learn just how to hold our body up in the full tuck position like so, and use the resistance band to really take the weight and get used to holding our body in the full tuck. Now the next step is to move the band away so your legs can be extended. And now we're gonna try again to do the full front lever straight and to just practice and see how this feels on your arms, your core and your back. So like I said, be careful when you remove the band as it does have a lot of spring. Okay, so that's a great few exercises of how we can use the band as a beginner to help with some basic calisthenic moves that you might want to add to your repertoire. So for me, ever since I started using this, I really noticed a massive difference. And it's just a bit of comfort seeing yourself in these positions, which seems so hard to achieve, seeing them with this band. And then all you've got to do is once you're comfortable, is drop down the weight and go from a medium band down to a thinner band, down to a thinner band. And then eventually you can remove the band and guess what? you're there where you want it to be. Okay, now, so, wait. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how we can use these resistance bands for progression. So once you're comfortable uh, with these movements, let's talk about how we can use them for really trying to improve and progress. Okay, so first of all, we have our dips again. Now before we use the band to take the weight of our body weight down, to make it easy for ourselves. But now we can do exactly the opposite. We can take the resistance band, place it over our neck like so, 
put our hands in. And now what we can do is use the resistance band to make the, these repetitions much harder. So as you see, we can come down and then really make sure you extend through the full range of motion and you'll feel the resistance band really pulling you back. And you'll feel your body weighs much heavier now. So this is a great way of taking your dip strength to the next level. Now this is also exactly the same with press ups and your press up variations. Now you can use this, place it on your back and we'll come down into the press up position and you'll see the band can really help make your press ups a little bit harder right at the top phase of the motion, which is also very important to focus on. So you can really use the resistance bands to improve your pushing like so. Now, there is also a way we can use this to make our pull-ups even stronger or for pull-up variations. So for a lot of people, another thing that people want to achieve is a one-arm pull-up. So a one-arm pull-up, what you can do with your band is put it there like so. You want to hold the band nice and tight where it doesn't have much give. And then we're going to use this to really focus on shifting our weight and pulling up with whichever arm you have. Now for obvious, obviously holding that, you're still technically using both arms, but you can really transfer your strength from your left side to your right side and just build up the strength in either one of your sides, which really helps. Okay, so that's my top tip really. These resistance bands are very, very useful for beginners with body weight, calisthenics, and learning these moves and making them much, much easier and a lot safer for you when you first start off. I know for me, since I switched to using these in all different weights, I really, really saw progress fast and it just gave me a bit of motivation that I can get to where I want to get to. And, uh, and yeah, I would recommend it for everyone to give it a try, see how you get on, buy a few different sizes, small, medium and a heavier one and work your way from the heavier one down and uh, give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Get a sweat on, get the heart rate moving. It's good for you, get the momentum going and just daily progressions and we're gonna do this all together. All right, so if you like today's video, comment, share, let me know what you wanna see next time and uh, let's go.